Hi there, it's Ashley again. I am going to show you just my morning routine on how I get ready. Um, I'm not doing anything fancy today, I'm just running errands. Um, I've just gotten out of the shower. Today is a non-hair wash day. So I will be using my Batiste uh, for dark and deep brown hair um, to kind of work out some of the light oils that have built up. And I shower with my handy dandy little towel wrap. I always like to put my hair up in a bun just to try and protect it. So, first things first when using the dry shampoo, you want to shake it up so that you mix up all of the ingredients that are in there. And then I just take around in little parts where I know that my hair is more oily than others. And I spray it around. I like to get it into the crown. So I have some build up and then down there. So while I'm putting on my makeup, I just throw my hair up in a bun and let the dry shampoo kind of sit. The only thing with this is that it does have a, a tinted brown um, color to it. So when you go to like touch your hair sometimes during the day, um, it, depending on how the dry shampoo has set in your hair, um, you will have like brown stuff on your hands. Um, it's not so bad anymore, but it was pretty bad at the beginning um, when I first opened the can. So my face has been washed for the morning. I'm going to use the oil-free moisturizer from Neutrogena with an SPF of 15 in it. Because that's the only way I will remember to wear sunscreen. And I'm going to start my curling iron, which I'm using the Infinity Pro Conair, and plug it in, turn it on, and I set it all the way up to 400 degrees, and this is just to add some nice light curl, and then I'm going to turn on my straightener, it's the Remington Wet to Straight, not a big fan of it, but I use it because that's what I bought. And go ahead and turn that on. Okay, so the moisturizer on. I'm going to take um, my knockoff beauty blender that looks like this. It has like a flat face to it. And my Lumi True Match from L'Oreal in um, C3 Cool. And I'm just going to pump a little bit onto the face of it. And then dot it around my face. a couple more dots in there. Um, so far I like this. Um, oh, I forgot my headband. I like to do this to keep the hair away from my face. Um, but I like the, the L'Oreal True Mask. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Um, it's easy to blend into the skin and I just take my sponge and kind of pat it around get it up into the hairline. Um, sometimes during the day, I have pretty dry skin, but I will see that using this, that sometimes it ends up being a little moist or wet looking, um, which kind of makes my skin look oily on some days. I need a little bit more. I was using the original L'Oreal True Match, and um, I think I've said in previous videos that I hate it. I don't like the way it comes out of the bottle. Um, I feel like you can't really control it. Maybe if it had a pump on it, like this one does, I might be a bigger fan, but it is what it is. Okay, so I've got the foundation on, and if I'm going out or I'm going to a party or something like that, my routine completely changes. This is just what I found to be... Um, the fastest and the easiest. Um, so now I'm going to put on some concealer. I'm using the NYX High Definition Photogenic Concealer. And this one's in the CW05. I like the CW06 better for my skin. Um, however, it's in my purse and I just don't feel like going and pulling it out at the moment. 
So I'm just going to dab it on where I have a few blemishes. And then I take the back side of my sponge, this round part, and I use that to pat it in. And it just helps to really blend it in with the foundation while the foundation is still wet and has not yet set. Okay. So that's done. And then um, on days where I really care about the way my eye makeup looks, I will use the Urban Decay Primer. Um, but on simple days when it just doesn't really matter much, I just put a dab of concealer just to help um, even out the, the redness or the stain from the eyeshadows in my eyelids. Wipe the excess off. And then I take this palette that I bought off of, oops, there we go, that I bought off of romwe.com, R-O-M-W-E.com. Looks like this. It's, uh, it was like $10.00. And I take a sponge, give myself a little edge with it, and I just pick up some of the color. And I use that to kind of brighten up my under eyes and my T-zone. Um, but I saw somebody, or I saw it on Pinterest one day, and I had been looking for some cream concealers um, with a variety of colors, just to give me more flexibility. And I... Didn't want to spend too much money because I didn't really know how my skin would react to the cream concealers um, in place of the liquid ones. And it took forever, forever to come in the mail. So much so that I think like a month and a half, two months later, I was like, wait a second, did I order that palette? And it has not yet come in. And um, I was getting really close to actually calling the company saying, what's up? Because it was the first time I'd ever ordered off of their website. And... Literally the next day, I got a package, and there it was. So, um, I've been using it. I like it so far. Um, I think that it would be worth buying a higher quality um, product, because, like, this literally has zero labels on it. Um, so, I think if they use a better quality product, I might actually like it more than this one. But I have this one for now. I'm using it. I like it. It's working. So for my contouring, um, I actually sold Mary Kay for a hot second. And so I have a bunch of my samples left over. And I thought, well, I'm just going to use what I have. And this one is in Bronze 3. It's their Mineral Powder Foundation. And I'm using the Real Techniques um, Domed Shadow Brush. I was using the multitask brush and I found that it was just it was too much space for um, applying the little bronzer that I need so all I do is take the brush you see I have some product in the dish and I tap it in there pick up some color swirl 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 it around in the lid and then finding that line I lightly draw in where I want to contour. You can see it's a pretty harsh line, um, but it's okay because we blend it all out. Um, and literally like two days ago, I just thought I would try this. I was using this for my eyeshadow and um, cleaned it, retired it for my eyes, and decided that that's what I was going to use for my face. And I like it. So to blend it all out, I'm using the e.l.f. No, 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 I take it back. This is my Mary Kay brush um, for the cheek. And it looks like that. And all I do is hold it basically upside down to go with the shape of my face. And you can see I just blend it in. Nothing too perfect, because like I said, I'm just running errands today, so it doesn't really matter. And make sure that I work out any harsh lines. Okay. 
to make a silly face, but it works, I promise. And then I typically don't wear blush um, day to day. It just depends on the occasion because um, less is more. So I'm using my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in bronze with my e.l.f. Um, Total Face Brush. And so I just take it, pick up some product, not too much, and then on the apples of my cheeks and on top of where I just bronzed or contoured, just work it in. And all it does is give you a little bit more color on your cheeks, as you can see. And in the light, you pick up a really nice shimmer that's not, like, overpowering. So that's pretty much all that I do for my face. I've already primed my eyes, and so I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, professional eyeshadow brush. And it looks like this. I'm going to use my Naked Urban Decay palette. And I always clean off the brush because I don't clean my brushes every night, which is probably like taboo. Which is clean off some of the leftover product from yesterday. I pick up naked and then put that on my bottom lid on both sides. And then for Bach, I go above the crease. And it just gives a little bit of definition. I really like those two colors. And I think that those are actually in the, um, the neutral or the nude smaller Urban Decay palette, which I'm really tempted to invest in. But at the moment, I still have plenty of product two years later in my Naked palette, which I use on a daily basis. Um, and... I just don't see the value in purchasing it at the moment. Um, so just to add a little bit of sparkle or light to the inside of my eyes, I pick up Sin and put it in the inner corner and above the crease. And then to go close to the brow, I take Virgin and wipe it over. And then last thing, whoop, there it is. Um, I'm using the definition brush um, or the eye definer. I think that this is from Mary Kay. It's just a fluffy brush. And I'm picking up Creep, which is the sparkly black, which I just wish did not have sparkles in it. But I just blend this into the crease, and it just gives you a little bit more definition. But you can see the difference. It's not much. It's very subtle but it's just enough to give your eye a little bit more pop. So that's that for eyeshadow. Pretty simple. Done with that. Then I take my liquid eyeliner pin, which is the Lorac Front of the Line Pro in um, black. Looks like this. Pull the lid off, and you literally have like a paint pen. Um, and I'm not too good at doing it from a distance, so I'm going to use my mirror right next to me. And every day it looks a little bit different because I don't really take the time that I should to draw the line. I usually do a little bit on the inside and then come to the outside and work my way into the center and fill in the gap. Sometimes I can do it without having to hold my eyelid. Sometimes I can't. Today it's just a little bit of both. And then I like to take and pull just a little bit out for like a winged tip. does not have to be perfect. So that's what it looks like. And to top it off, we're almost done by the way. Mm, my mascara. Um, I'm using the NYX Provocateur and it has two brushes in it. One's big, one's little. So for upper lid and lower lid or just to help you break up 
um, the lashes if they kind of clump together. I used to use the Zaza Zoo for another hot minute, and um, I absolutely hate it. It has little black fibers in it that just do not work for me. Um, they end up falling off onto your face throughout the day. They end up getting in your eye, and for somebody that wears contacts, that can be very annoying. So just throw this on. Oops. Got a little bit on my lid. Not a biggie. So this is what the brush looks like. I need to clean it. It has a little bit too much product on it for the moment. And then the top brush is a little bit smaller and a little bit more stiff, and it really helps you get into those lower lashes. Or sometimes it's hard to get the brush in on your upper lid, on the outer and the inner lashes that are really small and fine. Um, I didn't even realize until I used this brush that I had more lashes that weren't getting, oops, I do this almost every morning. This is the only issue. I keep a Q-tip on the bathroom sink for that purpose, just to wipe it up. You want to pick it up as soon as you can because this dries rather quickly. And nobody wants to have mascara spots on their face. So there's that. Almost done. Um, I've just started filling in my eyebrows, but I really like the way it looks. So, and I found that it doesn't really take too long. I'm using the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. Oops, losing the brushes. I don't use the brushes. They're a little bit too small for my liking. But it comes with a little bit of wax that you just pick up on your finger, helps straighten out those eyebrows. They can be all over the place. And then I use my L defining eye brush and it's just angled. It's not super stiff but it's stiff enough to put the product on the brush and then softly without scraping your eyeballs, or I mean your eyeballs, your eyebrows, and filling them in. And you don't have to be too precise. Um, don't overdo it. But just lightly brush some of the powder over the eyebrows. I typically put more um, on the inner, the larger parts of my eyebrows, and then very lightly come out. That's it for my makeup. Um, I finish it off in the car with a little bit of red lipstick. That is my absolute favorite. Some days, if I'm feeling a little bit more sassy, I use the NYX Wonder Pencil and draw it into the corner with my eyes. Blend it in with my finger. And then I like to draw it on to the lines above the cupid's bow. Like that. And then blend it in with your finger. And you're done. So I have gone over by several minutes in this video just because I'm talking. Typically it takes me no more than 10 minutes to throw on my makeup. Um, but I'll come back with another video and just show you how I throw my hair together. All right. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.